Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make one. Um, I actually have a stencil book because I'm you're probably more talented than I am, but you can get this book. It's called Paper Fashions. Um, it's by Klutz. So, um, what I'm first going to do, I already have some paper picked out underneath all this. And, um, I want my shirt to be, uh, where is it? This. Because, um, I think it looks really pretty and it kind of reminds me of this one. Because they're very similar. So, um, and I want a skirt in this purple. And I think they, those two are going to go together really, really well. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. First, um, I'm going to open it up to the stencil page. I'm going to simply open up the stencil. As I mentioned, you're probably more talented than I am. So I'm just going to use a stencil. Um, as you can see, this is the one that I want for my shirt. But I'm going to flip it over so when I use the stencil, you won't be able to see the lines and I won't have to erase them or anything. Um, so I'm going to turn it over and on the back happens to be this. I'm going to place it under so that I can see it. And then I'm just going to trace. And it doesn't matter if you make mistakes on the tracing because you'll be able to tell which one you're doing. And um, this book also explains that if you make a mistake, you can make it into a whole new fashion. Um, they showed one where someone had accidentally cut off one of the um, arms, um, sleeves, and so they just made it so that it was a one-sleeve shirt, which looked kind of odd, but it was okay. Okay, I can barely see this myself. But, um, I will try to cut on it. But first I'm going to do the other one. Since I want this purple, I'm going to flip it over and it happens to have orange flowers and stuff on it. I'm going to use an, um, A-line skirt for it. I just think their skirts are really pretty. I'm not a very big fan of the ball skirt right here because I just think it's too poofy. I also used that ball skirt on this, but I cut it down because, as you can see, I think it was way too poofy for it. So now um, I have both of them, and I'm going to cut them out. All right, um, so we have both of them cut out. This one's on the wrong side. So, as you can see, this one turned out pretty nice, but I'm not done with it yet. I don't need this book anymore, so I'm just going to flip it over here. Um, next, what I'm going to do is, because I like to keep all of them together, um, if you don't want to, like if you want to mix and match them all the time, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to glue them together. And the bottom always has a small flap, which I always glue on. And you don't need a whole lot of glue because they stick pretty well. So, and it'll dry pretty fast if you have a glue stick. Next, I'm going to put my insignia on it. Um, I really like this ribbon, which I've also used on this. And I'm just going to put a small bit of it right here. Now I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm just going to cut off some, starting from the end. And it, um, as long as it's bigger than it, it doesn't really matter the size. So then I'm going to take my glue again. And I'm just going to glue a little bit right where I'm going to put it. then I'm going to actually put the middle on it. I don't know why I just put the middle on it. I find it much easier to cut off. Um, then, like I said, you just cut this off. A lot of times it might not work. So what you do is you take it and you glue 
it on the back where no one will see it, which I will do right now. Anyways, you get the idea. So, this is my finished product. And if you fold over the flaps, you know what, I'm just going to take this ribbon off because it's annoying me. Um, if you take the flaps from the top and you just bend them over onto the other side, it's really easy to put it on a hanger. A lot of times you're just supposed to put it up on this part of it, but um, I don't always do that because they don't always stay too well. But that's your finished product, and um, I also have a cutout mannequin. It's not real big; it's just meant for these. Um, and you can see how they look on it. It doesn't have a face or anything, and it's on yellow paper. This turned out really, really good. I think this is um, almost as good as the other one I have. This one. I find them, this one really good on it, too. Um, there's this one. And it doesn't take a whole lot of time to make. Cutting it, I think, is the time that you use up the most besides choosing your paper because there's so much stuff that you could make um, look like fabric because it lo all looks really cool. Thanks for watching it and taking out the time of your day.